An insight, the emerging role of online technology in medicine. It's transforming the way doctors are treating patients. Here's a look at a recent survey by Manhattan Research Group, an American think tank. It polled more than 47% of doctors with smartphones use them with patients to show video or images. 33% recommend mobile health apps to patients, and 40% say using digital technology to communicate with patients will boost patient outcomes. But there are hidden dangers, especially when it comes to medical diagnosis delivered online. China's health authority has banned the practice. In response, one of China's most popular medical apps says the ban won't affect it. CCTV's Wu Guashou has insight on where the business is heading. The Internet age allows people to find anything, including a doctor. At least 55 million Chinese are doing this, using a mobile app called the Spring Rain Doctor. It now connects to 75,000 doctors across the country's top-level hospitals. Users can have advice from doctors for free, but if someone wants to talk to a particular doctor, they have to pay. Doctors determine their own prices. The app clearly lists out that instant messaging services usually cost dozens of yuan, while a 15-minute phone can cost hundreds. The app's branding director said last year, doctors using the app earned 20 million yuan. However, recently China's health authority has ruled out that online medical services cannot diagnose conditions. Instead, they can only provide advice. The app operator, though, isn't worried. We have only been offering consultation. The Internet cannot do the hospital's job. It just raises the efficiency of a medical service by giving advice before patients go and see doctors and after. It also helps reduce doctor-patient conflicts and guide patients not to rush to limited top-level hospitals. Internet medical services have been available in China since about 2010. Many investors are eyeing the huge market, including telecom provider China Mobile. We'll launch an app and website in the middle of this year. It will be a cloud healthcare platform bringing hospitals and healthcare businesses in different categories. Analysts are also optimistic about the future of online health care. Hospitals are specialized in treatment and controlling resources, while online medical service focuses on linking the whole medical service procedure. Providers can extend their business from its large use base to big health care, such as pregnancy and baby care, bodybuilding and others. Many doctors, including those from big public hospitals, are offering medical advice online now. China's health authority, meanwhile, has indicated more rules are on their way to regulate this area. Wu Guixiao, CCTV, Beijing.